Marsh, the athletic director. Good morning and happy Monday. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. It looks like we're finally going to get some nice weather this week. Yeah, we have a, that's what we do. We spend our time looking at the forecast. Yeah. Um, already did that this morning. Uh, yeah. The uh, Tuesday and Friday, those are the days I'm looking at. Those are, of course, the two days we have track meets. Okay. You know, so. I, I don't know if you know this. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, we're looking at a track meet at Hastings. Hastings. So I'm looking oh. for a little bit of precipitation okay. to maybe maybe come down. I love watching my daughter. Gotcha. How, how much of your day is really spent with the logistics? Oh, a lot of it. Yeah. You know, that's usually the first thing that we do, right? Um, make sure that everything's going to go off, uh, all the the events and all the officials and all the game workers and everybody else that, that it takes. It's, it takes quite a few people For to sure. put something together. Is spring more hectic than fall? Um, I wouldn't say so. I think, I think the thing about spring is uh, the weather. That's, okay. that's mm -hmm. the thing. Um, a lot of fall sports you still play okay. in, in rain and what have you, um, but certain sports in the spring you can't. Mm -hmm. Tennis, oh, tennis yeah. courts get wet. Yep. There's really They're nothing done. you can do. Yeah. So one of the new sports we're seeing uh, is lacrosse. Yes. And yes. we've gotten to see a few minutes of that here and there. This is a heck of a sport to watch. Tell me a little bit about this. You know, it really is. Um, so this is a, a cooperative that we formed this season. Um, so this is our first season, the first ever lacrosse, high school lacrosse in Jackson nice. County. Um, we are, it, it consists of, of course, Jackson High School. We have Lumen Christie, Parma Western. Uh, Jackson Northwest and Michigan Center. Nice. And I'll have to tell you, uh, I, I'm I've become a fan. Yeah. yeah. Okay. To the point where you know I'm, I'm flipping through the stations uh, over the weekend, and there was a lacrosse game. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. And I stayed on that. Yeah. And, and watched the lacrosse. Oh, yeah. So I'm learning a little bit about the rules and and some of the uh, the plays and. And a lot of hitting in boys lacrosse, it's a very yeah. physical that's, sport. That's very one thing I think, I think the rules need to be learned by a lot of folks, <laughs> a lot of parents, and yeah. a lot of they, spectators. They, they really do. I mean, one, two things look identical, and one's a, one's a foul, and one's right. not. I, oh. I, I really yeah. can't figure it out okay. so sometimes, but it's, it is a lot of fun to watch. How does that co-op work? So basically, um, you know, cooperatives are formed when there might not be enough students to mm -hmm. support a, a certain program um, from one school, and so, you uh, well with lacrosse we had a, a, a number of interested kids who were just playing mm -hmm. in the park basically you know yeah. they had their sticks and balls and and um, they were from different schools and so once we kind of identified what schools some of those kids were from and I reached out to the other athletic directors nice. and, uh, over the summer and we we put this together that's so, awesome yeah. well thanks yeah. for making that happen I, kids are excited yeah, about they are. it they are they really are and it's um it, and like I say it's fun if you have not seen a live lacrosse game yeah um check it out so nice. our we play um our home events are held at lumen christie mm -hmm. at the old soccer field there yeah. so yep. that's awesome nice to have a facility to do that so um i wanted to ask you about um kind of the development of some of the athletes with the new facilities you guys have have you um have you just noticed a little bit of a difference whether it's being able to use practice indoors when you have weather out outdoors but also you have the strength and conditioning coaches right. just talk a little bit about the progression of athletics right well i think um one of the things you know all of our athletic teams are are in there they're scheduled to to do uh, weight training and, and conditioning as part of their program um and then especially in the out of season workouts you know when you have the uh you can do four person workouts but then as far as weight training goes you can get entire groups mm -hmm. in there uh for weight training and conditioning the um one of the things i mean i, I really couldn't um you know, say for sure where this came from. But in the fall, I noticed that a lot of our football um, games, we seem to be a little stronger toward the end than some of the other teams. Maybe no. a little more stamina, stamina yeah. Um, yeah. you know, a little better conditioning. Um, nice. And we noticed that. And, and of course, having the facility in the spring when the, we're getting the rain and yeah. the cold and yeah. um, uh, everybody, all the teams want to be in there, and so we manage that. We make sure that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, soccer team and the lacrosse team and the baseball, everybody gets a shot in yeah. there, so. It is such a state-of-the-art facility. I mean, Andy, you said, I mean, you've been all over the place. You said, yeah, you think I think it's mean, one of the finest in the state. Yeah, I believe it's the finest high school facility in, in, in the state, between yeah. pool, football field, indoor, baseball field, everything that's going on. Right. I think it is the finest in the state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is, and we have, you know, this, um, this year again, we're going to have the uh, uh, MHSAA and the Michigan High School Football Coaches Association. They have um, 
kind of a combine type thing. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a showcase and we have students from all over the state sign up and we're hosting, we're one of the host sites again. Nice. And at this event, we have not only the high school students in, but we have college coaches. That's great. They come to look. And when they walk on our athletic yeah. campus, they're looking around and very impressed by everything. They get a lot of D2, D3 coaches that don't have anything they, nearly yeah. like that's that. Right. Yeah. That's right, that's right. So I think feel like the facility itself makes your athletes feel and, and present sure. even yeah. better when they're being recruited. Oh, yeah. That's pretty right. cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. What's your favorite spring sport to uh, be around and watch? <sighs> Aside from my new favorite lacrosse. Yes. Aside from yeah. lacrosse, <laughs> you've got to go to one. You're, you get to go to one. Right. Which one is? I, which one I'm is your... a baseball guy. Okay. Yeah. You know, I was baseball coach and yep. uh, for all these years and. Um, that's the one I, I tend to gravitate mm -hmm. toward. Yeah. Um, but you know, I, I do spend some time watching track meets. Yeah. Um, and uh, of course, go to soccer games, all the home soccer games. Um, I'll be at those. And uh, stopped by tennis uh, last Friday. I stopped by Parkside, see our tennis team. I stopped by um, uh, Sharp Park, which is where our JV golf team is playing oh, now. Nice. Okay. And then I was over at Cascades, and I saw our varsity team playing. So that's Lots. nice. Yeah. Yeah, a lot so, going on. Well, the Selby is the Selby back at Jackson this year. It is, and it's Great. that's um, going to be at the end of May. Yeah. So Tuesday yeah. after Memorial Day, I believe. Yeah, that's is that right. a track event? Yes. Yes, it is the biggest track event in the town. Nice. Yeah, you should it come is. to it. Yeah. It's awesome. And we have, um, you know, talking about the weather for Tuesday and, and Friday. Those are the two track days this yeah. week. That's all we have on right. those two days. Um, Friday is going to be the uh, Charlie Janke meet. So awesome. Looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah, that should be a great meet. So if you want to see some high level talent, uh, come out to uh, Jackson High on Friday night and check that out. Yeah. Greg, thanks so much for being with us this Thank morning. You. Thank Pleasure. you so much. Greg Marks, the athletic director at Jackson High. More of the show right after this quick break.